Hello, welcome back to Partnership Tax. In this video, we're going to focus on partnership allocations. Now, before we go into the details of partnership allocations, it's important to remember the history of Subchapter K of the Income Tax Area of the Intro Revenue Code. Now, remember, Subchapter K came about in the 1954 Internal Revenue Code, the second Internal Revenue Code. The idea that Congress had in mind was to allow extreme flexibility, allow the partnership agreement, the partners themselves, to contract or to agree on, with respect to certain terms. However, since the 1954 tax code, which that was the major overarching theme, was that flexibility allowing, again, those owners to do as they see fit, there's been lots of abuse through tax shelters and other items where between 1954 and the Internal Revenue Code of 1986, the third Internal Revenue Code, we've had a lot of anti-abuse rules that come into play. One area of anti-abuse rules that are out there is through the partnership allocation area, specifically Section 704. Now, we're going to learn more about the details, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you the idea, and that is... If the partnership agreement specifies how the partners are to allocate certain items of income, deduction, loss, credit, all of those items, and it meets substantial economic effect, the partnership allocation will be respected. All right, so let's break that down. We have two elements. The first element is it must be in the partnership agreement. All right, well, that seems easy enough. Again, that goes to the flexibility that, that the Intro Revenue Code 1954, original subchapter K, that's what the main idea was, is, hey, let's let the partners agree to the terms. So put it into the partnership agreement. All right, we got that. The second part is that it must have substantial economic effect. This is the most important phrase when it comes to partnership allocations. We're going to be spending, covering a lot of topics, focusing on allocations, and the, really the heart of partnership tax allocations deal with this phrase, substantial economic effect. And you can actually see this language in Section 704. The idea is that we're going to be focusing on book. If it follows book, if tax follows book, then it will be respected. Now, substantial economic effect is broken into two parts substantiality and economic effect, which the 704 regs or 704B regs which there's hundreds of pages with respect to examples and, and how this is defined, they walk you through and they define each of these items separately. Now, I want to go ahead and as you can see, I'm wearing this costume. I've got my scientist outfit on and I want to break apart again and stress substantiality and economic effect and how they must come together for the partnership allocation to be respected. And keep this in mind, keep this substantial economic effect idea in mind whenever you're dealing with allocations, these various topics. And one way that I want to remind you is by, in your memory, you can go back to my demonstration of the partnership tax allocation formula of substantial economic effect. All right, so to do this, right, I got my scientist gear on, got to get my gloves, my gloves, okay. Also need to get my need our goggles, put those on, right, before I put them down. Let me just see, show you what I'm working with here. All right, so we've got two elements, right? Remember, for a partnership tax allocation to be respected, it has to have substantial economic effect. And that's really, again, the phrase we're going to be focusing on. So I've got two elements here. I've got substantiality. You might be able to see the S, substantiality there. And I've got economic effect, the EE. Might be able to see the EE there, okay? These are both separate. They're defined separately in the tax law and the regs, case law, all those different things. However, we need both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, this tax chemical reaction, and we're going to see this come together, and we're going to see how the allocation is respected. So let's put our goggles on, right? Put the goggles on there. And let's put these two things together, right? Remember... We've got substantiality and economic effect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to join these two elements. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, this is a partnership tax allocation. This is what we're looking for. So when we go through these different areas of allocations, these different topics, 
Keep in mind that substantial economic effect is key. It's key. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and let's talk about the introduction to allocations and substantial economic effect, and we're going to look at the general substantial economic effect rules.